every race we do outdoors is a four second spur. And here are a 30 second run, so every run's about a five, would be equivalent to five runs on a you know normal race. It rained a few minutes ago when the track's not completely dry. Is that like, you know, the oil is coming up out of the asphalt a little bit? It's getting pretty slippery out there. Slippery isn't the word for it, as today the monster trucks are on a long figure eight course in Louisville, Kentucky at the Louisville Motor Speedway as the United States Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge comes to ESPN, the Total Sports Network. Louisville, Kentucky. It is a town that prides itself on speed. See, they have a little horse race here every May. Sometimes those horses go on to bigger and better things like triple crowns. Either way, the best place to be in Louisville is in Victory Lane, which is where I happen to be standing. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ken Brew, and welcome to the fastest 30 minutes on television. Monster Truck Challenge. Oh, do we have a show for you today. Here's the voice of Monster Truck Challenge, Joe Lowe. The U.S. Hot Rod Association has assembled the top trucks in the country for today's event. Barely tame, driven by Doug Spanier, get to buy. Wayne Smolzanik in Tropical Thunder takes on Chuck Falcon and Excalibur. Bill Weaver piloting Rambo against Mark Fendler and Kodiak. It will be David Morris, the equalizer, going against David Cook and the master of disaster. Alan Pezo in Predator against Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher. And Big John Moore, no problem, is matched up against Scott Stevens and King Crunch. As we view highlights from the first round, remember this is a long figure eight course in Louisville. It will test the endurance of the trucks and the skill of the drivers. First up, Wayne Smozanic out of Jupiter, Florida, driving Tropical Thunder. He goes against Chuck Hawkins from Toledo, Ohio, up aboard Excalibur. The Tropical Thunder, Excalibur ready to go. First round highlights. Both trucks off the line. Excalibur with a little bit of a lead as they go into turn number one. And then, whoa, look out, Chuck. He spins all the way around in the slippery track. Claims its first victim of the day. I had a great start, but all of a sudden, things got away from you. Yeah, I was pushing a little too hard in the corner. I had my rear steering cocked enough, and I, I thought I could, you know, wing around there that hard, but I goofed. But Chuck's not the only one that goofed, as you'll see in these first round highlights. Here comes Rambo, driven by Wild Bill Weaver out of Hastings, New York, going up against Kodiak, Mark Fendler. And we pick up this race halfway around the course as they approach the cars. Watch Rambo. He comes up over. Whoa, does a handstand. And what great driving skill as Bill Weaver gets it back under control and continues. Now as they approach the finish line. Again, Rambo up and over. Bounce, he bounce. Gets it under control. And Rambo wins on this course in Louisville. He had a wild ride out there. I thought you were going to tip it over. Yeah, it got up there on the nose a little bit, but we just kept in the throttle and tried to pull her back out. This has been a tough course for Mark Fandler and Koniak. He's just trying to make it around the thing. Yeah, well, we did a lot of damage to the truck last night. We were running it in two-wheel drive, and the front suspension is completely gone. The front frame's bent pretty bad, so we came out there, gave it our best shot. This is the second day of this figure eight endurance test that the United States Hot Rod Association is putting on in Louisville. Now, David Morris and the Equalizer goes up against David Cook and Master of Disaster, a battle of the Davids, and you're about to see something you very rarely see on the United States Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge. David Morris, the Equalizer, taking the lead. This is normal for him. He comes up, approaches the cars, and instead of going over them, comes to a complete stop. And David Cook and Master of Disaster breezes by for an easy win. We thought we had uh, electrical problems, and it turns out uh, that it's a fuel pump. A uh, fuel pump locked up on that run and shut us down. We're going to put another fuel pump on and come back. First round highlights continue from Louisville, Kentucky. Alan Pezo and the Predator goes up against Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. At the top of the show, Gary Porter was talking about how slippery the track was. But as you're about to see, it wasn't Gary Porter, but Alan Pezo and Predator that had trouble with the slippery track. Here he goes. Look out, Alan. He spins out on turn number one. 
gets it back on track, goes over the cars, only to fall victim to the slippery track once again. You had a great start, but uh, things got away from you. What went wrong? Well, uh, got a little slippery there in the first corner and uh, spun out. And the second corner was no better, but uh, we managed to finish the course, but at the end of there, we broke a steering knuckle. First round highlights continue. Scott Stevens and the King Crunch out of Spring, Texas goes up against the guy who had the wildest ride of the day in Louisville, John Moore, and no problem from Lafayette, Tennessee. Now, did you ever wonder what it would look like to have a monster truck go around a figure eight course with just rear steer? John Moore is going to show us. He takes a tour of the infield, manages to get it back on track, and again, the truck has a mind of its own. John looks at this track from every conceivable angle. He looks like a sailor on shore leave, but again, great driving skill, straightens things out over the cars. He does manage to finish the track, not the prettiest run we've ever seen, but you gotta have front steer to negotiate figure eight. The only problem we had here was we didn't get the power steering belt tight. And I lost that right off the starting line, so we ran that whole course there just with the rear steering alone, and that's a little tough trying to get all the way around this track just running on the rear steering. That's round number one highlights in Louisville. Round number two in the Survivors coming up. You got to catch your breath. I know I got to catch my breath. Joe Lowe's got to catch his breath after all that action. Stand by. We've gone past round one. Round two is coming up. If it's anything like round one, these trucks are going to be flying out of here. Monster Truck Challenge continues from the great Commonwealth of Kentucky in just a moment. Welcome back to Louisville. I'm Ken Brew. First round was pretty good, wasn't it? I got a feeling the second round is going to be even better as we whittle our way down to the best monster truck here in Louisville. Standing by, Joe Lowe. Okay, Joe, you're on. Ken, I hope you have a scorecard on this because Barely Tame was to be in this bye run, but he broke. On his first run, cannot come back. Tropical Thunder will get the bye. It will be Rambo going up against Master of Disaster. Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher goes up against Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur. Chuck comes back as the fastest loser. And Scott Stevens, King Crunch, faces David Morris in the equalizer. David comes back as the second fastest loser. And we're ready to go. Rambo and Master of Disaster. Wild Bill Weaver in Rambo. And Master of Disaster driven by David Cook. Off the line, Rambo with a great hole shot. And Master of Disaster really needs to turn things on and get a nice lead here because he's going to be on the outside lane when he comes around this figure eight. Remember, a very long course testing the men and machines. Come over the cars. Rambo with a great landing, but look at Master of Disaster. He bounces aimlessly on the track, has to apply the brakes, and Rambo takes advantage of the situation on this figure eight track in Louisville and freezes back around on turn number four over the cars and into the winner's circle. Bill Weaver and Rambo and Master Disaster just limps on home. This track is certainly taking its toll on these trucks today on U.S. Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge. On the line, Rambo with that hole shot. You can see the truck moved an entire second before Master of Disaster. And it was one right here. Rambo, beautiful landing. He goes on, but... What happens to Master Disaster is a shame. We got side by side on the cars, and I thought, boy, this is going to be a close one. I'll just stay in, and I kind of got out of control, and I just couldn't get her under control in time to keep up with them. But uh, it was a good run. I uh, wish I could have got them. So Rambo moves to the final four in Louisville. Our next matchup, Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. Gary concerned about the slipperiness of this track against Excalibur and Chuck Hawkins, who's concerned about Gary Porter, one of the top monster truck drivers in the world. Excalibur with a great hole shot. He's got to build the lead here because he's going to be on the outside of this track for the second part of the race. 
Gary Porter playing catch up, but Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur says, no way, this one is mine, I'm not gonna let you get it. Around that turn number three, Excalibur's actually opening up the lead further. This guy is driving his heart out. He says, Gary Porter, you may be one of the top, but I deserve to be up there and I'm gonna show you why. Excalibur could be the best race of his career as he takes out the Carolina Crusher. From the very start, you could see Chuck Hawkins was dialed in. He got the whole shot. Cuts it just a little tight here on turn number one. He knows the lead is his and he wants to hold on to it. As they approach the cars, you can see he does not back off one bit. Over the cars, he actually opens up the lead here. As the truck settles down, he goes into turn number three, and it becomes apparent that this is one for the record books. Well, I guess the other truck was just faster than I was today. Excalibur, you know, his truck was working the track really good. I might could have pushed mine a little bit harder in the turns, but, you know, I was sort of afraid of it, you know, spinning out on this asphalt, and you know, I guess I just backed out more than I should have. So Gary Porter concerned about the slipperiness of this track. Chuck Paulkin throwing caution to the wind in one of the most thrilling upset victories we've seen on the U.S. Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge. Our next matchup, David Morris and the Equalizer back after fuel pump problems. He goes against King Crunch and Scott Stevens out of Spring, Texas. Off the line, David Morris with a great hole shot. Goes a little wide, but look at this. King Crunch has problems at turn number one. David Morris, his first time over the cars today. What a great job. That fuel pump is working now, baby. Into turn number three. Around turn number four. The big boy is back, trying to redeem himself after problems in round number one. And it's all David Morris, it's all Equalizer, and we brought him down to the final four. Scott Stevens, just trouble plagued from the very start in his King Crunch. Uh, we just beat too many parts up this weekend. Broke a transmission, it seems like. And it left the line pretty good and started shaking real bad. Something's coming apart, and finally, you know, just started losing all power. So we just kind of got her out of her and got her off the track. And David Morris shows why he's one of the top monster truck drivers in the world. And his first time around this track in Louisville, never count the equalizer out. The truck runs good when it's getting fuel. <laughs> After we change that fuel pump, well, everything's working fine now. So I'm, uh, I hadn't got to run the track until just that time right there so I was kind of getting used to it then so maybe I can make another pass or, or so and get it dialed in what a great round too no wonder they're standing and cheering here in Louisville meantime back in the pits uh, a chance for some of the drivers to meet the fans a little autograph party here Chuck Pawkin of the Excalibur is uh, signing uh, some autographs how many you signed today Chuck uh, I don't even keep count anymore too had too many I understand what he's talking about Listen, while he signs and the rest of the trucks get ready for round three, we're going to back away just for a second. More from Louisville here on Monster Truck Challenge is coming up on ESPN. I'll tell you what, I love Louisville. Louisville loves monster truck racing. Why wouldn't they? Look at the action we've had today. Meanwhile, back here in the pits, Fans are getting a feel for what this sport is all about, getting a chance to meet the drivers. The drivers are quickly getting down to the best in Louisville this afternoon. More race side action. Let's go to the track. Here's Joe Lowe. Ken, we've brought him down to four. Tropical Thunder off a of bye run goes again. Bill Weaver and Rambo. Chuck Falcon in that thrilling upset over Carolina Crusher in the Excalibur goes against David Morris in the Equalizer. Wayne Mozanik's had an easy day. We've been real fortunate. Like I said, uh, Chas Engineering did a real good job in the truck, and we haven't really broke anything. We've been one of the very few trucks that's been able to run the race and make good, clean runs and not hurt too many parts. They're lining up. Tropical Thunder and Rambo. Rambo with a hole shot. Tropical Thunder with problems right off the line. He gets twirly. And Rambo takes advantage of it. He turns on the power. 
Wayne Small Sanic seems as though he backs off of it after that little problem early on. And Rambo first over the car. Does a bouncer two, goes into turn number three. He's in the inside lane now. He doesn't have as far to go. Rambo again turns it on. He knows this track. Look at this, a flawless run over the cars and to the finals for Rambo and Wild Bill Weaver. And Wayne Smolzanek finally manages to bring Tropical Thunder home. Off the line, here's the problem for Tropical Thunder right here. He starts spinning. He goes squirrely this way, that way, and he has to back out of it, has to bring his foot out of it to try to get some control over Tropical Thunder. Bill Weaver, meanwhile, is having a smooth run as they approach the first set of cars. They are side by side, neck and neck. This is an advantage for Rambo. Remember, he's going to be on the inside track, the shorter track, for the second part of this run. Over the cars they go. Rambo turns it on here. And as Bill Weaver drives Rambo to the winner's circle, the figure eight course in Louisville claims another victim in Wayne Smolzanek and Tropical Thunder. It's getting really slippery out there. They have to bring a lot of water up from the infield, and I got a little squirreled up, a little crossed up in some water, and it started coming around. I didn't want to spin out, so we just have to come back another day. Very philosophical Wayne Smolzanek, Tropical Thunder, and uh, this is what happened to Wayne. Right there, the water gets to him. He says, let's back up, save the equipment, and wait for some other day. Well, today's the day for the Excalibur. Chuck Falcon defeated Carolina Crusher earlier. Now he's going up against David Morris and the Equalizer. And everybody's worried about water. David Morris is worried about the ramps. The on-ramps are a little steep and a little short, so if you hit them real hard, you're going to get a lot of air. One's going to the finals, one's going on the trailer. Equalizer and the new kid on the block. Chuck Falcon and Excalibur, and look at him drive. He doesn't let anything deter him. Chuck Falcon, this guy is turning on the Excalibur. This is his day. David Morris and the Equalizer hot on his trail. He can win this when he's on the inside track. cannot stay on the track and it's a double upset for Excalibur first the Carolina Crusher and now David Morris the equalizer yeah Excalibur and Chuck Falcon he's going to the finals in Louisville on the biggest day of his career off the line they're evenly matched and then something happens the adrenaline gets blown and Excalibur turns it on Chuck Hawkins opens up an incredible lead. Now remember, he's up against the equalizer in David Morris. And he does to the equalizer the same thing he did to Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. He knocks off the Crusher. He knocks off the equalizer. And Excalibur gets to run for the championship on this figure eight course in Louisville. I was trying hard down there to get ahead, and when I went into the turn, I spun the truck out, and then I just never could get enough control back to it to get straightened up to where I could get some more speed going to get back in front of Excalibur, so he took the win. So it's Excalibur with Chuck Pocket going against Bill Weaver and Rambo in our final. Hey, the folks in here in the Louisville Motor Speedway have seen some of the best monster truck racing we've seen in a long, long time. And we see it every week here on ESPN. We'll be back with more from Louisville in just a second on ESPN, so stay tuned. Down on the track, we're quickly getting to the cream de la cream, the class act here in Louisville, the champion. Joe Lowe is standing by with more racing action. Joe? Again, here we go with Rambo and Bill Weaver against Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur. Chuck's made some adjustments in preparation for our final. Well, I, I changed my air pressure in my tires, and I just try to, to run a smooth run, a smooth course, just try and collect myself. Chuck Hawkins, he's had a win today over Carolina Crusher and Equalizer, but that doesn't impress Bill Weaver. He's run against him before. Uh, Chucky, uh, we run with Chucky all year long, and 
Uh, he's real good on the line, so if I'm if I gotta if I want to get catch an edge on him, I gotta really get cut a good light. So Bill Weaver thinks it will be decided on the line as the U.S. Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge Finals. Louisville gets set. Rambo, Excalibur, and Excalibur does it back in a hole shot. Rambo trying to keep up with him, and look, oh no, look out for Chuck Hawkins. He cuts that turn too tight and spins around. Rambo gets a big lead. It's almost like he's had this race handed to him. But Excalibur is back on the track, making a valiant effort to catch him. Rambo going wide. Excalibur tries to pick up some more time. Can he do it? Excalibur trying to catch Rambo, but he doesn't have enough time. And Rambo gets the win in Louisville. Wild Bill wins a wild race in Louisville, Kentucky, and ends Excalibur's dreams of a championship. This guy, Bill Weaver, is proud of himself. Here's how it happened off the line. Excalibur with a hole shot. Rambo keeping up with him. And then Chuck Pawkin and Excalibur hit some of that water with him here and about and start spinning. He tries, but he cannot hold it on the track, comes completely around, and Bill Weaver takes Rambo around turn number two into the cars. Here's another view of that spin out. Excalibur in the water, there's nothing he can do. Chuck Parkins, what a great day he's had today. He defeated Carolina Crusher, he defeated the Equalizer, and then this track in Louisville defeated him. But he is not a quitter. He gets back on track, goes over the cars, and then going into turn number three, starts to close the gap with Rambo. He's trying to catch up, but too late. If he had had another 100 yards or so, we may have had another champion. But it's all Rambo from here on out. Your winner in Louisville, Bill Weaver and Rambo. Let's see what our champion has to say. I seen Excalibur there. He got a little squirrely in the corner, so I just tried to keep my truck in a straight line and get it far enough ahead of him to where he couldn't catch up with me again. When you're that far ahead, do you tend to back off or want to keep going? Oh, I kind of backed off a little bit coming into the second corner, but then I see him coming on strong, so I started getting back on it harder. And what a disappointment for Chuck Pawkin. Uh, it, the rear end just started coming around. It broke free. It started coming around on me, so I backed off it, tried to straighten back out. Got back into it for what I could to try and play catch up, and I couldn't quite pull it off. And can that picture tells the tale? Your winner, Bill Weaver and Rambo. More on Monster Truck Challenge in just a moment. This ESPN program is brought to you. You're watching ESPN, the Total Sports Network. But alas, we have come to the saddest part of the week, for it is time for Monster Truck Challenge to close. But before we get out of here, one more thought on today's action here in Louisville from the voice of Monster Truck Racing, Joe Lowe. You know, Ken, Gary Porter told us early on he was concerned about this slippery track, and truck after truck after truck proved him to be right. In addition to that, this figure eight course, a very long course, and a lot of driving skill required. The United States Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge in Louisville has been one of the most exciting shows we've seen, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you, Joseph, and thank you for watching. For Joe Lowe and Jim Clark and everybody here in Louisville, I'm Ken Brew. Please drive safely. We'll see you next time right here on the fastest 30 minutes in motorsports, Monster Truck Challenge. So long, everybody.